Hello, and in this screencast for Apache ISIS, what I want to do is continue with my IntelliJ configuration and this time set things up to uh, run the application using our JRebel integration. And so uh, what we did in the previous screencast was set up a run configuration uh, as, as such. And so what I now need to do, um, assuming I've already installed JRebel and the JRebel plugin into IntelliJ, um, is that I then need to set up some VM options. So I've cheated and I've got them all prepared here. I'm going to paste them in and we'll have a look at them in a bit more detail. So we've got the following settings. Basically the important stuff that's going on here is the location of the plugin. You can download this from um, from uh, my GitHub account, you can see GitHub Dan Hayward ISIS JRebel plugin. Download that and build. And uh, the other thing you'd probably want to be changing is the package prefix. Um, and you can copy those details off our ISIS uh, website. And that basically should be it. And so if we then, well, if we then run the application, why not? Run, run this time using JRebel. So here we go, and uh, what I will also do is set up to run Firefox. So there's Firefox running. Let's install some fixtures. There's my email. So uh, the point of uh, JRebel is that we can now make changes to our code and um, and have those changes picked picked up automatically. So let's load simple object which is our very simple domain object for this example and uh, what I have here is I have a new little field you can look at the application we have just one field name um, so I'm going to comment in this code and uh, what I now need to do one extra thing I need to do it's not enough just to try to pick up that change I do need to build the DOM module. So uh, am I in the right direction already? I think I already am actually. Uh, DOM Maven compile. So this is going to obviously compile the code and it's going to run the data nucleus enhancer and that will have now been picked up automatically by the JRebel integration and so if I just now reload then we can see that the new field has appeared and we've got a little message there from the Jerable plugin. Here, let's make another change. Let's uh, uncomment a little action here. Save and uh, recompile. And then when I switch back, we'll just do a reload. And we've got a new, new little action there. OK, so there you are. That's how to uh, set up IntelliJ so that uh, it runs with, um, with JRebel. OK, hope that was uh, useful for you. Do try it out.